This video will provide an overview of the inventory functions in Dynamics NAV 2016. For this particular activity, we're going to use our navigation pane. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to look at a list of office furniture that I have saved onto my navigation pane. And we're going to specifically look at this Sebastopol desk. So I'm just going to double click this to open it. NAV allows me to manually enter my item number. You can also set the system to automatically generate your item number, so you have a choice. I do need to assign a unit of measure to my inventory items, and I can set um, different purchase and sales units of measure and how they relate to one another. So I can say, you know, I have 10, each is in a box, and then purchase by the box and sell by the each. I've also got some categories here and some groupings that allow me to easily add new items as well as use these particular fields for sorting and reporting purposes. If we look on the right here of the general tab, um, I'm able to see the quantity that I have on hand as well as quantities on purchase order and sales order. And as with any uh, underlined field in NAV, I can just drill in on this and view the transactions that make up that particular number. So in this case, we can see that we purchased two and we sold one, which leaves us one remaining uh, in inventory, which is that one that we see here. I'm going to move into the invoicing tab. One really important uh, field that needs to be completed on the item card is the costing method. I've chosen FIFO as the costing method for this Sebastopol desk, but I could have chosen LIFO specific average or standard cost. I can define my unit costs here, and so and the last direct cost was the last cost that I purchased this item for, and so that can be by vendor as well, so you can set those costs. And the price also, um, so the unit price here is $1,150. I can set that by customer if I need to as well. In the replenishment tab, I'm telling NAV how I bring in inventory for this particular item. So in this case, I purchase it, and I typically purchase it from vendor 30,000, and that's their item number. And so when I generate a purchase order, it'll go ahead and use that item number for me. The planning area kind of breaks that purchasing down a little further and allows me to set a reorder policy. So I can use reports in NAV to get recommendations about what I need to purchase. And we'll cover that in a little bit more detail when we go through the purchasing video. But here I've said I've got a fixed reorder quantity. And if I look at my reorder point parameters, when I get to two in inventory, I want to order five. And so again, we'll see that when we start looking at, at the purchasing process. Generally speaking, the transactions that are going to affect inventory in NAV are going to be sales transactions, and so that will reduce your inventory. Purchasing transactions will increase your inventory. Occasionally, you'll need to make adjustments, and so that will typically be done using an item journal. And here you can see I'm doing a negative adjustment for this San Francisco desk. I'm actually taking one out of inventory. Maybe I found it damaged or something like that. As far as visibility from a reporting perspective of what I have in my inventory, typically you're going to be looking at a report like your inventory availability report. And so I'm going to go ahead and just do a preview of this. And here we can see here's our Sebastopol desk. We have one on hand, which we already knew because we looked at that um, on the item card. We have one available, so we don't have any on sales order. We don't have any sitting out there yet on purchase order and we have a reorder point quantity of two. So looking at this, I can determine that I probably should order some of these items. You're also going to want to understand the valuation of your inventory. And so that's typically gonna be through the inventory valuation report. And here we can see that for our Sebastopol desk, we have one in inventory with a unit cost of $675, and so the inventory value of this particular inventory item is $675, and you can see the total value of all of my office furniture here as well. So this concludes the video on NAV 2016 inventory.